I really can't wait for this because I am so tired of being in pain. I mean, you know, my back constantly hurts. Deborah Stevens is about to become part of a technology breakthrough in pain control at the University of Kansas Hospital. And she can't wait for the relief. So you're gonna kind of be dozing off while we make a small little incision in your back. Dr. Dawood Sayed, an anesthesiologist and pain specialist, is explaining again how he will implant a device to mask her pain and how she will be partially awake during some of the surgery. Can't wait till this is over with so I can feel a lot better. Deborah is among the first in the nation to receive a recently FDA approved neurostimulator made by Medtronic called SureScan. It has been shown to relieve constant shooting pain, like the kind Deborah feels in her right leg. While the stimulator technology itself is 20 years old, not every patient has been a candidate for the device until today. This generation of stimulator is MRI safe. How this is a game changer is it opens up um, the utilization of the device for patients that before this were either not candidates because they may need MRIs, they have a higher diagnosis of cancer, and they may need imaging studies down the road to follow their cancers or to assess the level of advancement of their spinal diseases as well. Neurostimulators like this, placed under the skin, work by sending mild electrical impulses to the spinal cord. Those impulses block pain signals from reaching the brain. Doctors say instead of pain, Deborah may feel a tingling or a vibration. This is the, the needle that will actually help guide the stimulator. Once he has the needle in place, uh, he will be advancing the wire through the needle into the epidural space, and uh, you can see this wire array has about eight electrode contacts. The rest of the lead is shielded. That's what makes this device uh, different from the existing spinal cord stimulator devices. With everything in its proper place, it's time to wake Deborah up a little so she can help the doctor and the Medtronic specialist confirm the stimulator is in the right position. She's straight, well, right leg. Your right leg's a little bit more strong than the left. Okay, that's good. In just about an hour, Deborah has gone from constant pain to welcome relief. In post-op, she gets some final instructions before heading home. How'd everything go, Deborah? As this is an outpatient procedure, the doctor is satisfied, and so is Deborah. Right. Have a good one. I just am so happy because right now, just with him giving that little bit right there, yeah, that man back feel better. Isn't that amazing? Just like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, very good. Have a good one. We'll let y'all know when I get ready to do the MRI. Oh, there he is. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Jill Chadwick.